Six. All right. The NBA Combine. There are guys, it's an invitation, right? Yeah. You have to be invited, right? Mm -hmm. How many guys that average four points a game in college get invited to the NBA Combine? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ain't that player from, that player from Kentucky? How many players that average four points a game in college get invited to the NBA Combine? What's, I'm asking you. What's the difference? I'm asking you. What's the difference between four and six? A couple points. Just a jump shot. <clears throat> again, I'm going to ask you again. Okay. How many players who average four point eight points per game as a freshman get invited on twenty seven percent shooting from three? How many players is LeBron James son? Exactly. So you just proved my point. Yeah, it's it, embarrassing. Well, it's embarrassing. Well, that's the way the world. I know how. That's the way I know. The world. I know how athletic. Look, I've watched him play. So, I don't know how much you've actually watched him play. I watched, I've been watching him play for years. So, so I, I, I watch high school basketball. So when it comes down to that, it, it happens. Look at Thomas. Look at look, no, look, no, it doesn't. A lot, no, a lot of no, it doesn't. Make it in the league or make it somewhere, Nick, or you make it in Nass life because of who oh, you know. are, are you are you criticizing the the, the MVP Thanasis Antetokounmpo now? <laughs> are you criticizing him now? Cut it out. The man that wouldn't average four points in the European league right now. Yeah, he's trash. He has no business in the NBA. It's an insult to every player in the NBA right now that that dude's in the NBA. Yeah, it's insulting. Because it's about it's who insulting. you know sometimes in this world. Great. Right. That's, that's what happens. It's been like he that was he, was he world. drafted? Why, does, was why, it, was, why well, only when it comes to the NBA oh, or in professional sports is this one? This is where we draw the line. It's always been happening. What do you mean in, draw the what are you, what, what, are you, what are you comparing it to? To everything else that happens in the Nick, world. If you're my dad, if you're my father, yeah. if you're my father, obviously that's not possible. But if you're my father and you're a lawyer, you have a law firm, mm -hmm. what do I have to do to work in your law firm as a lawyer? You have to go get your degree. I got to go to four years of law school, three or four years of law school. Yeah. I got to pass the bar. Yeah. So there are requirements that allow me to work for you. Yeah. So work with you. Well, the requirements. There are no requirements that are, prevent, are preventing him. There's no requirement. He LeBron passed, James he Jr. Passed, obviously passing the requirement that he there's that no he, requirement. That he could dribble no the ball. Nick, Nick, he could Nick, shoot Nick, a ball. Nick, he Nick, could run up and down Nick, the court. How many play. guys go how many guys are listed at six foot four for four years and come in and, and get measured out six one and a half? Not many. A couple people get He couple. measured out two and a half inches shorter than he's been listed since he was a junior in high school. I was five eleven in college. I'm five nine, baby. <laughs> Nick, you're not playing fucking in the NBA. I, but I'm just did you saying. Get invited, did you get invited to the NBA Combine? No. I, I, wasn't, not? Good, I wasn't good enough. And he is? Uh, yeah, he's way better no, than he's me. No, he's not. No, he's <laughs> Is he better than you? I don't know if he's better than you. Yeah, he's way he, better. But he's definitely not. But he's definitely not. He, he, he's not a starter in college. He wasn't a starter on a bad college team. I don't want to hear about the, the medical shit. I don't want to hear yeah, about it. It's a factor. It doesn't matter. How was it a factor? Because I was it a factor? The man was he a played, playing basketball for a few. He played twenty minutes a game. How is it a factor that you can't shoot when you're playing twenty minutes a game? And I, I mean, look, I watched the bullshit. I watched it. They did you actually watch? I know Donald combine. was going crazy. Every time they switched on his ass, he's a switching nightmare. He got cooked. He got cooked on every switch. He cannot dribble. You're a better point guard than him, Nick. He, he handled the ball. You're a better point guard he than him, Nick. Decently, but is that is that what it takes in the NBA now? Oh, he handled it decently. You told me Jalen Brown can't even dribble left, so he can't. But he's six eight. So if he he's six eight, and he shoots forty eight percent from the field. Yeah, that's true. So we're sitting here comparing an apple to an orange. I am not saying that this young man cannot play in the NBA at some point. I did say to you, I think he's cat. I said, yeah, you said out. he's capped. You said I a, think he's you capped. You said an 18, 19 year old is capped of I think his he's ability capped. of playing. I think he's capped in terms of what I mean by capped is I think he's capped in terms of he's not going to become a superstar. 
Okay, we're not saying he has he, to become. No, but I think we we all understand that we he's going to be a role player. That's what he's. He no, already, no, he no already, we do not. Already, no, we. He, no, he, no, he, I've listened well, to guys on television he, 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 who are paid by Ron, ESPN Ronnie, right. to, and, and are sitting here saying that he could be a star in the league. No, 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 nobody. Are you I don't, crazy? I don't think anybody's drunk enough Bullshit. to say that. Anybody's drunk enough to say that. He's a he brawler. He already, Kills Arena. You know the only person that speaks and says that it's bullshit is Rashad McCants. Because the rest of those dudes suck him off. I think Rashad Brandon McCants Jennings. Huh? Rashad McCants went to a whole other level with it. I think he could play. I no, he, he was a thousand percent right. I think he could play, man. Brandon Jennings actually had the audacity to compare himself to Bronny. No. Brandon no. Jennings was the number one player I, in America. I think out of high school. I think what he can live up to is what he said. Uh, Davion White. I mean Davion Mitchell. Get the fuck out of uh, here. Uh, Darren, I think that's something that that's, I think, Derek I, White? I think that's his ceiling. Derek White? I think that's his ceiling of reaching something like that. Derek White? Somebody who could defend and somebody who could hit, hit open shots. Nick, he's 6'1". He's 6'1". How tall is Derek White? Derek White, that, oh, he's like 6'4". Right. He's 6'1", Nick. Davion he, Mitchell is he, not that tall. He, he, Nick, he do, can, we draft, do we draft 6'1 tweeners? Pat Beverly. He didn't get drafted, but. Pat Beverly's a fucking point guard. Pat Beverly's a point guard. Pat Beverly's a defender. Pat Beverly is a point guard. And Pat Beverly did not have his daddy get him into the NBA. He earned it. He earned it. And I don't like Patrick Beverly. Because now they're rumoring him to be coming back to the Heat. Which, hell no. Hell no. But what are we... But what... This, but this nonsense where we pushing this fake narrative, <clears throat> it's very frustrating to me. It, it's very frustrating to me. Man, man. I'm why? A, because I've, Nick, no, because, no, no, I didn't because, say, I didn't say why. I just said, I'm, because the people that are talking never saw him play one second of high school basketball. And if I can watch you play in high school and you're not dominating, you're not dominating in high school, how are you in the NBA? How are you getting workouts as a 19-year-old who's played one college season on a, one of the worst teams in the country? You didn't start. So that, you didn't start. Is that supposed to stop them from evaluating talent? Let's see him. Let's check Nick, him out. He wouldn't. It's an invitation only thing. You can't just show up at the combine. He's Look, LeBron's son. I'm 40, let's, let's, I'm 46, let's end that. We know that. I'm 46. I want my invite next year. Can you? Hoop? I want my invite. I'll Can work you? on my jump shot. Because you know what? They used that stupid jump shot drill that he did. We made 19 to 25. Yes. You watched that drill, right? Yeah. He literally jogs from spot to spot. He jogged. It's still 25 He's shots. Jogging. Great. Great. Uh, and, and, and he shot 27% in college. And a lot, of people, shoot, a lot of people shoot bad in college and they could transform. And, and, and he has a, his form is pretty. It's a pretty looking jump shot. Great. It's anyone pretty, can make a jump. Anyone can make a jump shot when they're wide open. We know this by now. He plays basketball. I didn't say he's a terrible player. I didn't say that. You just say he needs another year. I'm or saying two. he's not deserving of being in the NBA right now. Well, and the and the fact of the matter is, they push a narrative. He he measures two and a half inches shorter. He's six one and a half. He's explosive. Two ten. He should have been playing in the NFL. He should be playing in college football. He's explosive. No, he's tr very explosive. He can jump through the roof. He can jump through the roof. Can that make up for his Does size? Does that make you an NBA player? Can that make up for his size? I'm just saying. Can he ja block? No. Ja, ja Morant's 6'1". John ja Morant's point guard. <laughs> John ja Morant dribbles circles around him. Are you really okay. comparing the two? So if I can have a LeBron who handles Are the ball. Are you comparing the two? Are you I comparing... So he can't, Ronnie James on, on. So to he, John Morant. Can he defend point guards? Nick. No, I'm saying. So if I have somebody. Kenny, I don't I don't know. It depends on my team. I, I don't know. Because I watched him play in high school, it, and I thought he was very mediocre. It depends on my Nick, team. I, 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 you, I know you think I'm a horrible evaluator of talent. No, I don't say I, that. I, I don't, no, I don't, you, you say it privately. No, I don't I say watched, it. I don't say it. I've watched. I've watched enough high school I, basketball players. I just players. don't agree with certain things, but <clears throat> I don't say you're horrible. Well, I know you know your scores. I know you're very Johnny, knowledgeable. Johnny, Johnny Flynn. Remember him? Yeah, of course. Syracuse. 
That's my issue. Johnny Flynn was 5'11", 6 foot tall. Mm-hmm. Or I think I mean, maybe he was a little taller than that. Johnny Flynn was 6 feet. Johnny Flynn. Let me see how tall. He was 6 feet. 6 foot tall. Yeah. Johnny Flynn, we played him in New York. That dude was unbelievable. We played his AAU team. Watching that guy play, it was like lightning. He's six foot and he was dunking the ball too. Just like Bronny, dunking the ball. Incredible. Now I know his NBA career flamed out, but Johnny Flynn was a better is a way better player than Bronny James. Way better player. Way, way better. Like when I when I look at a guy who's six foot, six one, you got to be special. You gotta be this special guy. Like the, the Chris Paul is special. AI special. It ultimately do, it ultimately These comes guys down. Are special. It, it ultimately, How many six one down. guards do we have come off our bench for the heat? How many six one guards do you have come off the bench on any team? Oh, we had Eddie House. I'm asking, I don't I, I don't know off Eddie, the top of my head. Eddie House. Yeah, and what was his career? He was a shooting guard. He was a shooting guard. So yeah, and Bronny can't be that. I mean, Eddie House was a motherfucking tremendous shooter. Now, Eddie House in college was a was tremendous shooter, now. a gunner. So can Bronny be? See, that's what I'm saying. Like you're compa- like no, we're going to compare I'm a saying, guy. I'm just saying by his form, can he be a three point shooter and can he be a better defender than Eddie House? But can he? I guess he could. But I'm talking about right now. Right now, the NBA is not a a, a, a developmental ground. There's not a team that's going to draft him. Mark it down. If it's not the Lakers, no one will draft him. Shit. And I'll bet money on that. Shit. Nobody will draft him. He's getting drafted. Dude, bro, his ranking He's getting drafted. jumped from 98 to 54 after the combine. He did something, right? You think they just put him up there for no reason? <laughs> Come on, man. That's pay. That's, that's, that's payola. What you that's Le- payola. LeBron paid him? The ranking system? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> oh Nick, Nick, Nick. No, real shit, real shit. And, I, and I'm not trying to shit on this dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm really not. Like but I, I, but I, I've lost respect for the entire system. If someone who averages four points in, co- in college on one of the worst teams in the country is sitting here being really, truly considered to be a draft What pick. did the kid from, from Kentucky average? I don't even know what kid you're talking about. Uh... Because the kids from Kentucky right now, Rob Dillingham and Reed Shepard, run circles around Bronny James. Let me see. Let me see what the kids from. Boom. <clears throat> oh, I ain't got time to see. I forgot where the kid was from. Bro. Damn. And and the reality is, lottery picks and and guaranteed first round picks don't go to the combine. So this is like the rat race of the lower level player. This is the lower level college player. There's no international guys at the combine, is there? I don't think so. Uh, but I can I tell was, you this. Not. I watch I don't know. I'm I, I don't know. I, I I didn't I watched Sierra Canyon play. Let me see. He wasn't Bro, I I've watched so much high school basketball. Probably more more than you watched. You played. Probably more than you watched because you play, but you were playing. I watched as a journalist, as someone evaluating, because I used to sell scouting reports to colleges. I don't know if you knew that or not. Mm-hmm. You told Did me. you know that? I think you told me. I, so I used to sell scouting reports. Division one colleges would pay me for scouting reports. So people that don't want to believe it, most of these college coaches don't have any fucking idea. They rely on services to provide them information. My teams played Greg Oden. We played Mike Conley. We played Mike Conley in high school. Greg Oden. We played Eric. We played Eric Gordon in high school. The same team. Oh. Da- Daquan, Daquan uh, Cook. Cook. Daquan. Daquan Cook. All those guys were on the same damn team. Yeah. We played Julie. We played JJ Hickson. We played Ty Lawson when I was coaching with the Miami Tropics. We played Kevin Durant. We played um, 
There was a dude that went to Kansas. Julius something. The motherfucker. We played them white dudes out of Washington. Um, Spencer Hawes and um, Kyle Singler mm-hmm. went to Duke or whatever. Like we pl- I, I watched these guys play when they were in high school. These guys were unbelievable ball players. Look, there was a player in Orlando. Like, I mean, if you remember, I didn't like him very much because I didn't think, I thought there was way too much where he's always looking into the crowd. But Darius Washington was a motherfucker. Like, Darius Washington, I got into it with his dad because I criticized him because, you know what, I'm sorry, I'm criticizing you because the reality is you're a public figure and you get criticized. But Darius Washington was a superstar, man. The missed free throws at Louisville or whatever destroyed him. Memphis, um, right? Memphis yeah, in the, the conference championship. Um, but that dude was, un- he was unbelievable, bro. I don't see that here. He's not even the best player on his team in college, high school. He was never the best player on his high school team. The high school team, come on. <laughs> the players that they get in their team. Come on. Yeah, I understand that. And would you compare him to BJ Boston? BJ Boston runs circles around him. On his team. Like these they didn't and they didn't win. They didn't win. Their best chance to COVID cut their season. But as a senior, they lost like 10, 13, 10 or 12 or 13 games. They got smoked four times by Notre Dame. And a Sherman Oaks, I think it is. They got smoked. Like I just don't see he's a look, he's athletic. He has a good jump shot. Mm-hmm. It looks it looks pretty. He has a nice looking form jump shot. He has a nicer form than his dad. Mm-hmm. But and he, he seems very he seems intelligent. Yes, he does. But IQ players. Kate Martin. That's what that is. Who? He could be Kate Martin. He can be Kate Martin. Kate Martin's end. 25. He could be Kate Martin. He does all the right things, make the right plays, make the right passes, intelligent. Kate Martin's I, 25. I, I, IQ. She played 65 years of college I, basketball. IQ player. He can be Kate Martin. Why? He can't be Kate Martin. He can't make the right passes. He can't make the right plays. He can't do everything that you need him to do. Defense, defend, pick up 90 feet. Because he has to be that type of player to get on the court. No one guards 90 feet. 85, no 80 feet. We know who's the guard 80 feet. Motherfucker Avery Bradley, who was how tall? 6'2". He could be Avery Bradley. But look That's what Avery Bradley. He could but be look who, But look at what Avery Bradley was in college. Avery Bradley was a motherfucking guard. Yeah. Motherfucking but he was chest. a fucking beast in college. Okay. So. This is my problem. It's like you're comparing guys that when they were in college... They were unreal. Yeah, but they, they were that guy. But then they became to the NBA became a role player. If he already knows, yes. his, if he already knows, yes. his, if he already knows his role. What's the problem? You see, he don't. You don't have to break his ego down and bring him back. So you, down. So he's you already. Bring him in a, he's so already bringing a guy in as a role player. He's already coming to rip. He's already hell yeah. He's already coming being undrafted. Then being an undrafted free agent. He's already coming to excel in his Kate Martin role. Kate Martin Brody. <clears throat> That's what we're gonna call him. I. I you're comparing a 19 year old to a 25 year old who played five, six years of college basketball. He's played one. But his, why is there a problem? The, the why is the there a problem? He's been around the knowledge and background of the highest, one of the highest IQ players in, in the world, in the history. That can't, that has to be, it has to count for something, Rudy. He, his dad is LeBron. And the knowledge that he gave. Again, why does that matter? Michael count? Jordan's sons were born of Michael Jordan. You think Michael Jordan's older son had Jordan, a better, you think Jordan, was a better college player than Bronny? You think Jordan, you look like Jordan put the effort into those kids. That I, don't brought, think he, I don't think I don't I don't think Bronny. there was a lot of things that went on there. But Marcus <laughs> Jordan was better in college than Bronny. You think Jordan put in the effort that LeBron put into Bronny? I don't think I just the don't effort. Think. I don't know what effort Bron, LeBron James really put into his kid. Uh, he plays basketball all year. It kind of yeah maybe it's a yeah we get we we we, we, we get we, we get all we get all the fucking we get all the social media shit like social media would tell you that that Jordan was a terrible father based on that because you don't see every moment of his day we get to see when LeBron takes a year takes a fucking leap <laughs> like it's a, it's a majorly different comparison in my oh, opinion yeah <clears throat> because we don't know 
what where he was or if he was at his kids' games or what have you. But I know for sure that I'm sure that Marcus Jordan had the best trainers around. I'm sure he did. He played Division I basketball, and he was a better Division I basketball player than Bronny James was is right now. I'm not saying Bronny James can't become better. But when I say he's capped, <clears throat> I don't think I don't think he becomes a 45% shooter from three. Well, this, I don't think his form he, he can. He doesn't mat not nah, fuck that. You know how hard that is? 40%. It's go look how many four, go look how many guys shoot 40%. Draymond shot right 38% one year. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. I'm gonna rest on one that. One year. That's all he, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it could be done. If Draymond could do it, I think yeah. it might have been 40%. I could be wrong. Again, to it. you're talking about one season. So if he shoots 40% one year, but shoots 28% another five, I'm just saying, he's a 40% three-point shooter. I'm just saying. With his, Is Jimmy Butler a 45% three-point shooter? I'm just saying, with his form, I, I see the potential to be a good shooter. He's six one and a half. He's not going to get shots up over guys that are 6'8". Yeah, he's going to sit in the corner and wait for it to come. So he's a corner three-point shooter like P.J. Tucker? Bruce Bowen, P.J. Tucker. A lot of these people in the league. I don't even believe – I think you believe what you're saying right now. I don't, I don't think you I'm, believe I'm what not, you're I'm saying I'm right not going to count him out. That's all I'm saying. That's it's all. not about counting him out. It's about sitting here saying, take your ass back to school. Go and get better. Why? If these people are looking at me and get, give, looking at me and giving me a chance. Why am I going to take advantage of the chance that I'm getting afforded to me? Give him a chance no, to do no, what, no, Nick? No matter, I'll bet you right. No I'll bet how, you right now. No matter how I'll bet you right can. now. I'll bet you right now that the only team that would, would draft him is the Lakers. We I'll bet you right now. We're gonna find out. No, you, you're gonna lose that bet. If anyone besides the Lakers oh. drafts him, I'll give you a hundred bucks. I'll give you a hundred dollars. If the Lakers are the only thing that draft the team no, that drafts him, no, you but, give me a hundred dollars. You know, and if he doesn't get drafted, you give me five hundred dollars. No, 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 no. You know I'm very meticulous about Because I don't think he's gonna get I don't think he's gonna get drafted. Draymond shot thirty nine percent from thirty nine point five, forty percent this year. And he shot thirty eight point eight in fifteen, sixteen season. Huh, if Draymond could do that. What were the other seasons, Nick? Thirties, twenty nines. Thirties, thirties. If we're if we're gonna be using outliers as the example, I mean we can go ahead and 30, use outliers. Thirty threes, thirty threes, couple thirty threes, and then a lot of twenty eights, twenty sevens. Yeah. I'm I, I want to get graphic right now, but it's be a little bit too much. But because right. I can tell you that there are days where my girth is bigger than another days. <laughs> where did you become the funny guy? <laughs> there are days where the blood pumps better than other days. <laughs> I'm just that needed, you better post that. That's just funny. Fuck. I'm just saying, like we're using outliers as the example. We're using outliers. Some days you last so if what, longer. So, so I, I have I have a nickname for I have my nickname on uh, Netflix. It's ten inches. It'll never exist. Um, <laughs> but there could be that one outlier day where the blood pumps really fucking hard, and it's ten inches. It'll never happen, but I'm just saying that one outlier day. <laughs> looking, in the, looking in the mirror like that. Look at Damn, man. Look at this. What's going on here? Well, I can't be like this every day. What's going on here? You know when it gets bigger is when it gets skinnier. You got to you gotta shave around it too. That helps out also. I, I'm just, I, look, man. I just, I just, I just want it to be, I, I just, look, nepotism exists. The, 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 the rules don't exist with LeBron. Because I can tell you right now that I watched enough high school basketball to know that that wasn't a top 25 player in the country as a senior. And he went to the McDonald's All-American game ahead of guys that were way better than him. Way better than Wait, him. Wait, is it top 40? Top 300. It's top 300. Nick, you know what a top 300 player is? You think he's a top 300? You know how many, play how many high school players are in the country, bro? I get that, but he's... Definitely top 100. hundreds of thousands. Bronny's a top hundred player. No, he's not. Right. No, he's not. He's All a right. top three hundred guy. All right, I think he's top you know what top three hundred is? You're in the top percent. Top one percent. Oh, please. that's what I'm saying. All right, so people, we're gonna... people have left. People have lost. So people have lost the reality. There's nobody in North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana. Uh, <laughs> 
This bro, I'm 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 telling you right now, top. He was a top. He's a top three hundred guy, but he was ranked way higher because of who his dad was. I I, I he I'm was. Not gonna say I watched enough. He of was. Him. I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come here <clears> and sit down and say I watched as much of him as you did. But I'm gonna say when I did watch him. He was a decent, good basketball player that I would love to have on my team. So you, are you win. telling me? Are, are you telling me a top three hundred guy is not a decent, good basketball player? It's a hell of a player. I, I, a hell of a player. He's a top. But it's but but it's the but it's but it's the truth. He's a top hundred. No, he's not. Because with his athletic ability, Nick, his jump shot, his he shot the ball way better than I. Can I be? Can I, you want to be? You want to be frank? That I was a top three hundred player. You want to? You want to? <laughs> I don't know if you were or not. You actually played four years of high school, college. Oh my god! Tristan Wilson, out of New Orleans. Oh, uh, I like Tristan. So I'm not. Really is good. better than him. Is a better high school player than him. It's a better high school player than him. And where's Tristan Wilson going to school? That's division two. No, that's one division two. One v one. I think it was Presbyterian. Or is that division two? I think no. It's, it's three hundred division one schools. I'm pretty sure that's. <clears> I don't know anymore. I I, 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 <clears throat> Tristan has a sweet stroke. He's six six. I, I mean, Bronny had a sweet stroke in college. I mean, high school. Still a sweet stroke. He don't go in like this, you know. But hey, we'll see. I, I, I'm just giving an example. Like th- this is we we have we have a lot. He's going to go to Presbyterian. And it's not Division Two, Division One. I'm pretty sure. B one. Sure. <clears throat> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And I'm not sitting here saying that I think there are guys that get pub. Like, they get he gets free pub. You know what's funny? You know who doesn't get the free pub? His younger brother. Bryce James does not get the pub that Bronny got. Doesn't get anywhere near it. But I've watched them both play. And Bryce is 6'6". And he's, he's smooth. He's smooth. They're, and, they're division you know, one. huh? Division, division one? one? Yeah. Okay. Big South Conference. Marcus Allen is better than him. I, but, bro, I talked to Lawton about it. Mm-hmm. Obviously, folks, Lawton Williams is the coach at Northern High School, has won seven state championships. Marcus was playing with a busted fucking knee or foot all of the playoffs the reason he played like complete and utter trash for most of the playoffs was because he was hurt he never told Lawton that he was hurt he had 19 in the game or 19 or 20 against Jensen Beach in the state championship he was terrible but his presence his presence because I'll tell you right now, if you had told me watching the two of those guys, I thought Tristan was a better basketball player. I, he looked way better. Yeah. Tristan was balling in the playoffs. Came a long way, but I, I but, told you. But Marcus, I told you, I used to practice. <clears throat> Talking about from his freshman year to sophomore to senior year, handling the ball, being more confident, just being an all-around guy as a senior vet, coming and making the big shots and handling the press and the pressure. Even though, you know, they had other point guards, but he definitely took the mantle of being that guy. And Marcus is ranked Marcus is ranked sixty four nationally. I mean you could you could chalk it up to He's him. ranked sixty four nationally. To him not having him. I would Which tell you that he is saw. better than Bronny. Huh? Seeing what you saw, that's you could chalk it up to some of that. I've seen him both. No, I'm talking about chalk it up him. to him at the end of the year. Well, the, the, yeah. Well, yeah, Lawton told me he was. He, it was either his knee or his foot, because mm-hmm. he was in a cast a week within a couple of days after that. So, you have a kid who was battling an injury, a guy who was averaged twenty and eleven, who was the the number one senior in in South Florida, mm-hmm. and I mean, I'm again, I people may think I'm crazy. I'm not hating. People love to use that thing, that term hating. I'm not hating on this kid. I don't have the energy to do it, but I have respect for the sport. And I think that we've lost respect for a sport where, it, where there's really a conversation of, am I going to draft this guy's son 
so I can get his dad? Yes. Like, what is going yes, on? Yes, yes, yes. Be him. Then if you're yes, going to yes. do it, say it. Yes. If you're going to do that, say it. I don't have to don't say it. Don't give me the bullshit. Not you. I'm just saying. I didn't have to say don't it Don't give yet. me the bullshit about how he's so skilled. He's not. He's not. He, he and has, that's the problem. He might have enough skills, but I'm definitely a Skills to do what? We're going to find out. But is, Gabe Vincent, is Gabe Vincent better than him? According to LeBron, no. <laughs> According to LeBron, no. Apparently. According to you, Nick, is Gabe Vincent better than Bronny James? Yeah, the man is 30 years old, 25 years old, 26 years old. He's a grown you man. Just made, you, you, you just made him 30 <laughs> years old. He's a, he's a grown man right now. I don't think you just he's made better. You just made Gabe Vincent, who's 27, a 30-year-old. Yeah, he's 6'2". I brought it back. I brought it back. <clears> he's 6'2". And you know what? He had to fight for every second that he's got. Yeah. And he's a far better shooter. Yeah. And I get and he's it. An actually, and he's actually a point guard. Mm. Look, I, I get it. We, 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 want, we want to have these debates about tweeners. You know very well that tweeners never make, that never last in the NBA. Gabe Vincent's a don't. tweener. What? Not, Gabe Vincent's a tweener. He's not a point no, guard. No, Gabe Vincent's a point guard. Man. He plays point guard. Yeah. Play shooting guard. He plays point guard by default. We seen it. We know. We're Heat fans. We went we to won. the NBA Finals with him at point guard. We played. We played point guard by committee. Bam brought the ball up. Jimmy had the ball in his hand. Come on now. We're not going to do that. We're not going to come on. He this. was a starter. He was a starter on a team that went to the NBA Finals. Okay. In five years, look, Ronnie James will be. <laughs> I quit. All right. I'm sorry. All right, maybe I don't know. Who knows? I, I don't know. You could play for the Knicks and have to get put in the game because they all their players are in the ground. All their players are hurt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all their players are hurt. Orange and blue, orange and blue skies. Orange and blue skies. Yeah, uh, I, I, I have no problem having all those orange and blue, blue cries. Orange so. and blue cries. That's my <clears> news. <throat> that works for me. That works for me. And I just want to end this last topic real quick. Okay, I know we're going. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna. I don't know if we're gonna record on Wednesday because I don't know what's gonna I know happen. We're going. If anything, me and you will record something. Thank you for watching. Come on now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.